Herod was born in Pennsylvania to John Herod and Sarah Moore Herod. His birthday is unknown. It is said he could have been born between the years of 1742 and 1746. He had 11 siblings. He had little formal education in his youth. Much of Herod's youth was shaped by Native Americans. His father's first wife was killed by Native Americans, and so was his brother Sam. While fleeing their home in Great Cove, Pennsylvania, while Herod was a child, his mother led them through the forest while Native Americans burnt houses around them. Herod became an excellent marksman and hunter. He served as a guard and ranger in 1755 at Fort Littleton. He joined Henry Bouquet's British forces as they marched to Fort Pitt in July 1763. He began his journeys across the mountains into Kentucky in the 1760s. He went to Illinois first and then Kentucky and Tennessee. While in Tennessee, he met Daniel Boone. Herod set out to establish the first permanent European settlement in Kentucky during the early 1770s. He led a small group of men down the Ohio and Kentucky River and settled in what is now Mercer County. In June 1774, they established Herodstown, which is now Herodsburg. Others had joined the group, but Lord Dunmore's war threatened the settlers. After a Native American attack, the group was left vulnerable, so they abandoned 30 cabins. After the battle at Point Pleasant, Herod and 50 men set out from Fort Redstone to Herodstown. In March of 1775, they arrived and began building a fort. That year, the Transylvania Convention was held at Boonesboro. Herod represented his part of the state and did not accept Richard Henderson's dominance with the Transylvania Company. He led a successful protest against Henderson. When Virginia created Kentucky County in 1776, Herodsburg became the county seat. Herod led many groups during his years in search for provisions and gunpowder. Native American attacks persisted during 1777 and throughout the following years. Herod led men in several fights against Native Americans. He led more expeditions in 1780, 82, and 86. In 1778, he married Anne Colburn MacDonald. She was a widow, and her husband had been killed by natives. Anne was left with her son, James. Her and James Herod had a daughter named Margaret. As Native American attacks began to lessen, Herod settled into a calmer life. He and his six slaves farmed his land at Bowling Springs. In 1779, Herod was a representative in the Virginia General Assembly. In November of 1787, Herod's stepson James was captured by natives and burned at the stake. This event shocked James Herod, and he went on a long surveying and hunting trip. In 1792, Herod went on another hunting trip. He disappeared and was never heard from again. Rumors, of course, circulate about his death. One story, and possibly the most believed, goes that he was killed by a Native American, who he passed and was then shot in the back. Another story says a man named Bridges killed him. It is said that Herod's bones and clothes were found in a cave. However, he could have left and died of old age elsewhere. I hope you've enjoyed learning about James Herod, a unique story his life gives us. His birth is unknown, as his death is as well. There is no gravesite for James Herod. With Daniel Boone having a biography written about him, he became the famous Kentucky frontiersman, and James Herod is often overlooked, even though he was the first to establish a permanent settlement. With his many engagements with Native Americans, Herod never came to hate them. You can visit a replica of Fort Herod in Harrodsburg, Kentucky today. I highly recommend it. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video in the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky History content. If you feel like it, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod. And don't forget to check out the Lamb from the Meadows Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.